We passed a local school and I looked in and I saw this tiny little thing and she saw me and ran. As I followed her, she kind of looked around and then she just tripped over herself and collapsed on her back. I grabbed her and her mouth was still open like a gecko. And I'd never seen it before. She literally had no other defense mechanism. Their teeth are always the only thing they have to fight with. And even then she didn't have enough energy. My heart sank and I thought, oh, here we go again. Very tiny, very skinny, hardly any energy. Took her to the vet and they started her treatment. She was like two months and she was really up and down. You're at the vet, and if you eat, I'll take you home. I just knew she wasn't going to survive if we left her there. I could see that she really needed that love and nurture, and that's when my heart really fell for her. That's when I made the decision to go and bring her home. Animals need, it's not just the medical, they really need the love and the fresh air and the fresh water and the sunshine. And she was really a tough one. She really had an attitude from the beginning, like she's a little street fighter. She's like, yeah, no, you're playing by my rules. It's her way or no way. If her feet were really splayed, they were bandaged to try and give her some support. When you see them start to play, I think is when you, you start to see who they are. She really just started to shine probably in about week three. She was feeling a lot better and a lot stronger. Check it, check it out. She started to put on weight. Hey, fat too. Hey. And then one evening, I sat on the ground just to be with her. Good girl. And then she just came and curled up in my lap and had her first cuddle. That was our first very bonded moment. Bonded love. She chose the time for the affection. I didn't push her for it. And she felt safe finally. We were definitely choosing each other without realising it. I was really determined to not make it happen. Like, I put her up for adoption and she did get adopted. And we drove down and I dropped her off and then within a couple of hours, the lady said, I can't have her, you need to come and get her. It was clear to me, she kept showing me signs. She's like, just hurry up and just keep me already. And I, I kind of just gave in at that point. She's kind of really changed my life for the better, despite having a, another animal to care for. She's making me fight even harder for the rest of them. And she brings me so much joy every day. Like, she's hilarious. She dances around and she rumbles with everyone. Just, she's got so many antics, so much that she gets up to. You can just see the life in her eyes. Like, she's just so happy to be, to be here. She's a soul dog to me. There's a kindred spirit connection with her. She really is a bit of a miracle. Hey. Can you not bite me? Like, comment, and subscribe.